So, are you in interested in engineering, and if so, why? Um, I kind of am interested in engineering. Um, but then I don't know if I really am because of like the hard work you do, and I feel like intimidated by like my surroundings and everyone, especially like guys. Mm, yeah. We're, we're losing the we're, we're losing the battle when, when we're missing half of the people in our in our city when we're missing half of the people in our state we're missing half the people in our country when our numbers are so low that it's like we don't even have any um, then, then we need to do something we, we need to seriously go out and try to do something to make our trades more attractive to the women in our our community My name is Katie Carl. I'm an engineering teacher and also the Geotech Academy coordinator. One of the barriers that we have is, is still a little bit of social pressure. I think some of the females, when they um, see engineering and when they see construction industries and fields, they automatically notice that it's a very male-dominated field. And I think that can be very intimidating for them. Oh, I believe that not as many women are in the industry because either they can't afford it or they feel that they can't do the job because of who they are. Because not a lot of women like to be out there, like help like building things or creating new projects. They just prefer to stay like inside. Uh, my name is Shonda May. I go to Morris High School and I'm 17 years old. First of all, I feel like it starts off from when kids are young. Like, I feel like Legos and things like that are more like towards like boys. Like, they give them there and girls are given like more like girly things and cooking toys and things like that. I think one of the stereotypes is that women don't like to do the dirty work, as in like get on their hands if it's like construction or if it's like automotive, they don't want to get their fingers dirty with oil and they just want to keep it like neat and just tidy. I'm Della Cole. I work for Audio Associates as a project engineer, project manager, superintendent, control the field. Also I'm an instructor for the JATC, which is the IBW 569 Electrician's local um, schooling for apprenticeship program. When I first came into the trade, it was really hard as a minority woman, not just a black woman, but a minority woman, just a female in general. What you're gonna find is, is no matter what happens, I walk up on a job site and I can have a crew of guys behind me and the general contractor or another trade contractor, they're gonna talk to one of my field guys before they actually talk to me. And, and I've been lucky to have the respect for my guys where they will actually come in and say, oh, that's the boss right there, she makes the decisions. And that's been the general, I mean, it takes that little bit of extra time for that to happen. Women really do want round out the workforce. Uh, it makes it a better work environment. I know that I've always enjoyed the, the women that I've worked around. I, I've seen women who, uh, in my trade, the asbestos workers, who knew and understand the trade as well as, as anybody. And, and, and certainly, a lot of cases, much better than myself. So, yeah, they get it. There's no doubt. One of the things that I try to explain to the girls when we're in classrooms or in different settings is that a 98-pound woman can move a 146,000-pound transformer with two fingers, but I can't put a 320-pound guy in a 12-inch hole to crawl through an attic to run a wire or run a pipe. But a 98-pound woman can fit through that 12-inch hole, and she can do just as good a job, if not better. You know. When we talk about the skills that women bring to the, to the trades, women have a tendency to kind of step back and look at things in a way that, that guys don't. And that creates, in a lot of cases, a much safer workplace. The advice that I'd actually give somebody coming into the, the trade or even interested in it as a, a young woman is, is that you have a long road and there's a benefit, a benefit to what that road is going to give you. You have a lot of choices you can make in your life. If you choose to go in this direction, it's an option for you. And here's what that option brings. 
That option brings a retirement plan. That option brings a uh, benefit structure. That road is going to give you respect. It's going to give you, you know, something to look forward to. It's going to help you to be able to not be, you know, reliant on somebody else to take care of yourself. You know, it's going to give you the ability for your own cultures, the other women, to see that you have something to offer. You know, and, and there's nothing you can't do. You know, there's never going to be a time where you're going to step back because I'm proof of that. Okay, I'm Regina Taylor. I'm in the 11th grade and I go to Morris High School. I believe that people could make more outreach programs like to, I mean, to all youth, but especially females, like in elementary and middle school and high school, to help them get interested and like um, establish that interest. If we can, I think, pique their interest earlier, I think that's something that might cause them to, in the long term, stay invested and stay interested in construction or engineering. Right now, we're doing specific outreach. We're very targeted. We're looking at um, middle school, um, entry into, into high school for our outreach. One of the things that we're doing, concentrated specifically for our, um, our young ladies, is when they come to our training center, we run them through certain, um, certain tasks. One of the things we do is we kind of put girls off to one side and boys off to another. In the process of doing that, we give the girls a little bit of extra encouragement and we leave the boys to pretty much tell us that they know what they're doing and they're okay. But while we're encouraging the girls, we notice that the girls are like faster at doing some of the things than the boys. They get a sense of they can beat the guy, they can make a lot of money, and at the same time, they're good at it. And I think that it's important that they understand that they're good at it. And I mean, it just amazes me when you look into their eyes after they've done something, um, made an RJ45 connector, connected up an outlet, pulled a little piece of wire, stripped it back, made the, the terminations the way they're supposed to. The look that you get out of some of these girls, it's like this total empowerment just came over them. Sometimes I think we've created a monster, but it's good to see. Um, I think, to be honest, most of the students at our school and even in the academy, again, they just aren't exposed and don't know what their options are. We try to, as teachers, we try to help them figure that out, but even we don't know all the answers. So having actual real relevant field trips that they can go on, that they can experience what the possibilities are, um, it's really helpful to expose students to that because then they can take it back and start seeing similarities between what they're learning and what's actually going out in the real world. My name is Daniela Gonzalez. Um, I am 17 years old. Me gusta mucho la carpintería, eh, la soldadura. Me gustaría ser arquitecta más que nada porque soy muy creativa. Me gusta medir, me gusta todo lo que tenga que ver con crear algo. Well, today I learned about like the different departments in pretty much construction, whether it be sheet metal or electrical or drywall. Because I know a lot of students who wanted to go into like construction and they don't really know about this program, about the engineering program in general. Or they do know but they don't really have a good experience and they don't, they're kind of lost in it. So I believe that it should be more open towards a lot of students so they can know what they want to go into. I think women can do anything. I think anyone can do anything if they put their mind to it. I think girls are going to have to like overcome their insecurities and think about themselves instead of like other people and I guess just just breaking the stereotypes and not acting off of them. I think we should like not pay attention to the gender um, part of it at all and just separate that and get rid of it. One of the most hopeful and exciting things to kind of think about is that we have a group of students 
young adults that are growing up that have a lot of talent. And I think if we can kind of help them harness that talent, figure out where their interests are so that we can help them direct um, where to apply all the knowledge that they really do have and the ability that they have, I think that we'll be successful and that the students will be successful in whatever their future endeavors are.